Well, it is a glorious day here in uh, sunny Victoria, Melbourne. And today we are going to continue on the 64. We put the carby back in. We got that cleaned up in one of those little ultrasonic cleaners. So that's, uh, that's all nice and clean. And we're gonna get ready to prime these repaired areas. So we've got a couple which you guys have already seen up on the windscreen there get those all primed up and then we can continue so we're going to take it down into the little spray booth uh, we're going to drive it down there we don't have uh, brakes so this will be an entertaining little drive down there might just be a bit of handbrake action get some primer on these repaired areas and then we can just check them out and make sure they don't need any more sanding and i reckon they do because I can see a couple of little pinholes there already that might need filling. Probably use some spot putty on those. There you go. So that's uh, what's going on so far. Look at this piece of, piece of work. <laughs> hey. Yeah, it's a bit smoother than the car be done up. Oh, I reckon it's it would. It's tarp on the floor. Yeah. Shake the fuck out of it off your head. Yeah, no, this is good. Right, Righto, guys, so we're just getting ready to put the plastic over the top of the whole beetle. And you can see I've just taped up the areas we're going to spray. We're going to end up just doing all this section here. Just blend down this little corner here where that repair is. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, got the compressor running in the background. And then uh, just this little corner here, and then we'll probably just set up the uh, panels out there for the rest of it. Primer, guys, primer. Can you see the primer? We have a primer. And so far, the repairs are looking pretty good. See any any weirdness? Any tomfoolery? There might be a little bit of tomfoolery on that one. You can just see there's a tiny bit of a sand, a couple of little hard lines in that, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Either. Like I said, we're not looking for uh, showroom quality here. Um, the bonnets are out here. Well, the bonnet and the guard. We'll just did a little repair on the guard just here. There, and we've got the bonnet, that's the bonnet there, or oh, the hood, <laughs> in the hood, and that little repair down the side there too, so yeah, look, we'll see how, we'll see how the blend goes, that's going to be the next thing. Alright, that's our, uh, as you can see here, this is our wheelbarrow come bonnet stand, bonnet stand. Um, we've got these areas ready to paint, just over here. Yeah and this part's ready we've had all our primer blocked back Have front section's all blocked back i'll turn the fan off when you're spraying yep All right, so you can see we've got a pretty nice uh, shine on it. I think the big issue now will be having to shine the rest of the bug up to match the um, repaired areas that we've done. But uh, all in all, it's uh, come up pretty good. No issues there. We've got that little corner there that we've also repaired. And the back over here, you can see the shine difference. If I look in the right angle of the light, 
So yeah, all that will just get cut and polished back and uh, you can see there's the repair. And there's the bonnet sections that were all rusted. Same there. So yeah, no, she's come up uh, come up quite good. Like I said, we are, you know, we're only trying to just get, get her looking honest again. We've still got a few other little bits and pieces to do, but once we cut and polish it all back, hopefully the colour will will match and I think it is pretty good I think I don't think we're gonna have too much trouble once we get the dullness off the uh, or the oxidization off the rest of the paintwork so right oh, no, 1200 guys with some water and we're just gonna dip that in and start sanding the area We're going to go back over that with 1500 and then we're going to use the super super c cut cutting compound and we're going to give that a buff so on to the front Spraying the bonnet. Okay. <laughs> right, guys. So we're just getting the guards ready to paint, and you can see we've done a little bit of a repair on the back of the guard, and just getting a couple little bubbles out of this one. But she's slowly getting there. We've got done a little bit more cut and polish on it, starting to come up. So basically, the uh, engine lid and all four guards we're going to respray and the hood and the bonnet because we've got that discrepancy in color this has really faded quite a lot so hence why the color match didn't didn't work you can see there it's got a line through it so we'll just rub that back in 600 and uh and shoot it with the um the, the right color okay so we've got the rear guards puttied up we've got you know a few little imperfections that i've just been finding while i've been hand sanding it and uh you know slow and steady just going over all the all the parts that need doing got that section all done down here that's all nice and smooth and getting closer we've got that little dint done there yeah all all happening we, unfortunately not the best of days to be painting today so we're going to leave the primer uh, until next week and uh, yeah basically we can just get um, get them sprayed we just went and bought a couple of these stands actually from super cheap and uh, yeah 38 bucks I think they were we got got four of them just make things easier having some panel stands and then uh, I think what the plan is going to be is we're going to we'll drive this drive the beetle out of here and set this set the booth up in here again and then we can just get uh, all the the four guards and the hood and bonnet and uh an engine lid and then get them all painted in here so next stage now will be just to scuff up these front guards you can see they're still shiny so we'll scuff those back up uh with some 240 i think we'll go over them with 240 just to make sure there's no stone chips and whatever whatnots in there spray the guards and the bonnet and just put them all in here so i reckon that's probably going to be it for me uh for this episode we will catch you in the next one when we get it primed uh we'll hopefully try to get the uh the top coat 
uh, on there as well. Just to, you know, we need a nicer day, even though it is summer here today, it's a bit cool and a little bit on the um, moisture side in the air, so no good for painting. All right, guys, catch you in the next episode. Yo!